G'day mate and welcome to the Friday Facts. We're up to 297 and I've just got Mojo with me this week. Hey mate. Hello. You managed to find me at long last. Yeah, I managed to find you. It's been one of those days I've had car problems and all sorts of things then finally got Mojo in the afternoon. We've we've let Lil Couture have the day off. All right. Uh, maybe he'll come back for future threesomes. We'll see. Um, maybe. But yeah, it, it's hard to coordinate two of us, let alone three of us. It gets more difficult the more people you add. But you know, fact of life. Um, anyway, we've got Friday Facts 297, which is titled New Resource Icons, but that's not the thing that got Factorio players um, stirred up. Yeah. It was actually inserters, and two small tweaks to inserters. Um, tiniest, teeniest, tiniest tweak to inserters. Yeah. Was it 1744? 1744, which was already fixed in 1745, which came out like three hours after the Friday Facts. Yes. Because um, the Friday Facts actually came out on Friday for a change for us. It came out at like 10 p.m. or something. Um, Should I also point out that the 17's up to 44, and 16 only ever made it to 51. 51. 51, 51 was the last 16 of us. Um, Where will it end? It's gonna, it, might actually, it might actually be the one that breaks 100. It might be. It might be. Like, it, it, they're getting more refined. They're, they're pushing the updates out faster. Um, I, I'm loving it. I, well... I'm loving it, but then again, I'm Except also... Except the updating part. Oh, yeah, I'm also updating, you know... It, it's not so much my own installs, that's the easy one. It's community maps, which... They're a pain in the ass to update. Anyway, so we had inserters become faster. Um, a few days ago, Twinson was uh, investigating rather minor bug reports related to rotational symmetry in belts and inserter interactions, a.k.a. an inserter was not behaving identically when rotated. This is a classic case of floating point equa equality comparison. And if we look at this inserter on the bottom right, he's the only guy that spins 360, which you would assume, you know, conservation of, of movement, etc. would make him faster, but turns out that guy was one tick slower than every other inserter. Yes. Which... As far as I know, like inserters being slightly different speeds at slightly different rotations has been a problem since Factorio was first made. Yeah, it's always had different speeds for different orientations and different belt combinations. Like, yeah. I think they're a little bit quick, like a tick quicker when it's on an underground. I think that one's been fixed. I think that one's actually been fixed. Um, but I yeah, there, there's... Now. The, oh, the, I have no idea. Like... There's, there's been so many of them, and they're, and they're being fixed bit by bit by bit. And the devs are doing a great job to make sure things are 100% consistent. Every oh, yeah. single orientation and things. Whereas most devs are just walk away and go, it's good enough. We're just going to leave yeah. it there. It's like um, not naming any name games like... Uh, <clears throat> Oxygen not included. Oxygen not included, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. We, that, that, we can load the game three times and you get three different results. Yeah, every single time. Well, I'll, no, you can load the game three times and often get four different results. But that's besides the point. Yes. Um, so, the inserter would move its arm and it would pick up the item if the arm orientation is equal to the desired arm orientation. Uh, so, after the fix, which was just, just a, a loss of a calculation, which would make them one tick slower, um, that was fixed. So, an air inserter should be a tiny bit faster in some rotations, plus all rotations should be, again, uh, symmetrical and identical, which means no more 360 inserters, which I was actually a fan of. I was a fan of inserters doing the 360. It's fun because um, sometimes you see it do it, sometimes you don't. You never yeah. really know if it's going to do the full 360. Yeah. Um, so whilst analysing the code and the inserter behaviour for that bug, also notice inserters with stack bonuses would do nothing for one tick after they picked up an item for a belt. I changed it so inserters would start moving to a new target immediately after they picked up something. Um, so that sped up stack inserters. But both these speedouts are enough to fix another bug that's often regarded by other devs as not a bug. So this is a thread and the thread's linked here. Um, the are seeding. I think when 17 first came out with the faster belts, I uh, seeing just went, not a bug, intended behavior, bad luck. Um, and quite a few people commented and said, no, it, it's definitely a bug. If, in, if a stack inserter can put stuff down and then one further down the belt should be able to pick it up. That that makes perfect sense. Yeah. And as you can see from this graphics, if it's at this far away, it can. If it was too close, it couldn't. And if it was too far, it couldn't. You'd need two of them. But at the perfect four-tile distance, everything ran fine. Um, so, 
yeah, it was again a timing things, the amount of stack inserted uh, st items the stack inserted would pick up, depending on how far the stack inserted was from the item source. One of those, I don't know, weird, weird. How does that you know. even a thing? Yeah, I don't know. That's that's what it comes under. How how yeah. does that even happen? So they fixed those things, and then there was a new problem, and this was during Nephrim's speed run. And I think I've got yeah, the audio on. It's not very long. What has happened? So he had items being yeah. mixed on a belt. Why? How? And it was because one inserter, which normally just puts on the right hand side of the belt, suddenly decided it was going to start putting on both sides of the belt. How is that inserter putting on both sides of the belt? Was a bug. It was a bug yeah. introduced in Bilka, what, 1744. Yeah, that was 44. Yeah. So good news is it's been fixed like three hours afterwards. Um. As someone from chat noted, the inserters are so fast now, they don't even care about what side of the belt, which was, yeah, a very good answer. Uh, remember I fixed... Not, not wrong. No, he's not wrong. Um, so, uh, uh, Twinson fixed the um, rotation problem by finishing the inserter if the movement was close enough. So basically just giving it a little bit of rounding. Uh, well, what ended up happening was the inserter would stop 0 0.001 degree short of perfectly vertical which is just ridiculous. Um, and that was, of course, closer to the other side of the belt, so it would just be dropped there instead because, you know, the belt logic took over because the inserter logic stopped. Um, and, yeah, the fix has already been, you know, been implemented. It's in 1745, which technically, and this is a completely side tang tangent, on my copy of Steam, because I already had to update to 1745, it no longer says experimental. I have gone and I checked... Really Factorio webpage and it still marks 1745 as experimental but Steam doesn't it's, it's not marked as experimental so I don't know whether people are going to suddenly magically get upgraded I don't know um, that's something I guess we will find out when a whole bunch of crash reports come in tomorrow um, it says latest experimental for me uh, I'm picking manually from the list and every one of them says experimental except 1745 um, oh yeah so yeah, so with it's everything... probably just a name anyway. Probably. Because it's within the bid range. Probably, but maybe not. Yeah, but like I said, if, if next Friday Facts is like, oops, we accidentally updated everybody on Steam, here's 10,000 more bug reports, we know what the guys are now doing. Um, the easiest answer is just to look at the depots on SteamDB. Yeah, that too. Um, so, instead is now more consistent, predictable, and intuitive. Things that I think are important in a precise game like Factorio, which I agree with. But it does say here, and I've highlighted in red, in some situations it might be slightly slower or consume a little bit more electricity. But generally, inserters are now faster. I don't care about the electricity because, let's be honest, inserters just use nothing. But the slightly slower has me concerned. Is that slightly slower mathematical computations, i.e. they're now using more UPS, just slightly? Or is that slightly slower in an in-game? Because I know people that spend hours doing the maths on inserters to know exactly how much they move per tick. And I'm worried that they're going to... Well, already they're going to have to recalculate things because technically they're slightly faster and they'll do a rounding error and drop stuff off more often. But I'm wondering if any inserters in any orientation got any slower. I have the word... I'm just reading it again and again. Mm -hmm. uh, some situation might end up being slightly slower. Mm -hmm. In other words, you're saying there's probably the same... Or if not faster for most cases, but there's probably some edge case where it is actually slower or consumes electricity for an extra tick. I, I can't think of any, and yeah, who cares about electricity? Yeah, apparently Reddit and does. Reddit does. Apparently, okay, okay. I, th I think it was it was Reddit or the form. Someone got really butthurt over using a tiny bit more electricity on. It was the lamps thing because they weren't on and consuming electricity all at the same time? They all couldn't the same turn. Oh, yeah. wow! Wow! Okay. Use an efficiency module in an assembler or two. You, you've made up more savings. Anyway, we move on to new resource icons. So in Friday FX 149, they brought out the new graphics for resources, which was a really big change. Um, the resources went from square patches to like puzzle shapes. So they're no longer square. So they fit together and looked a bit, a bit more unique at the overlaps. Um, but yeah, it gave it, it a bit much more natural look it, rather it, than the very uniform look that yeah. it used to have. 
Yeah. I should point out that this was, uh, for those who haven't clicked on the link, that is actually for 15's release. That um, Yeah, that update. was. That's that's like, what's that? Feb 2017. So that's a yeah, while that's a ago. a long time ago. Um, so yeah, I, I remember reading this Friday Facts and being so excited that we get new looking ores. And they, they look a lot better, but they're going back to them because... First thing they had to do was work on new resource icons because they never really got around to that in 15. Um, yeah. And they use various randomized randomization methods to get a new batch of re-randomized ore pieces easily. And I've got this lovely render from the earlier Friday Facts where they wrote a script, they click a button, they get random ore shop on the screen. It's, it's yeah. brilliant. It works. Um, it's brilliant. It works. Um, the problem is... They're not happy with what it looks like in Blender, so they take it out of Blender and put it in Photoshop. That way they get to play with each pixel, which I understand. Um, but, you know, it does create like lots of different ores very, very quickly and then shoves them in together and we get our different ore versions, placements, um, tile sets. I don't know, what whatever you call these things. Um, yeah, and you get this very... Sort of, no matter what they do, they get this very uniform look going on. They do, especially when they end up on belts. They, they, they all start looking the same, which I guess I'm not complaining about. I, I've never, I, I don't think I've cared is the correct answer. Yeah, I don't think, I, I can't recall the time when I actually cared. Yeah, I, I could look at a belt and see uh, look, that's grey, bluish colour, that's definitely iron, that's definitely coal, that's definitely copper, that's definitely stone. The green one's uranium, that's it. Mm. Um, and the green one you know, glows in the dark when you don't have night vision and it's dark. That's that's about it. Um so in 15, they tried to do, but they didn't have enough time for, to make the Funny resources. That. Yeah, lots of things <laughs> didn't happen earlier. But um, to make the resources randomize variations of icons when drawn on belts. Now, we've got this second image here, which, like, the iron definitely looks unique. The copper looks unique. And I don't know if it's just the same time and effort wasn't spent on the coal, or it's just because it's dark. Same with the stone. Uh, well, the the uh, coal is actually a little bit lighter. It's not that deep black that it was previously. Yeah, but it doesn't. It doesn't look like the iron. Definitely looks like different random chunks of iron. They they look different one to the next. It's it's not the same uniformity we've got currently in the game. But coal looks a little bit uniform. Same with stone. Uranium definitely. Um, like this. This the mojo can't see, but this one and this one are identical that one's identical you know it looks like it look pretty identical admittedly yeah I, i'm i'm really happy with the iron I, I i'll say that much i'm really happy with the iron i'm pretty happy with the copper the other ones i don't know whether it's just more Not time so more effort um more randomization the i don't know um we do know that these pictures are normally a mock-up they're normally done in photoshop they're not actually in game so you know, it could be an early mock-up that just didn't have enough time spent on it. Um, but we do see them when they're moving. Yeah, that randomization really does come out. I, I definitely for the iron and definitely for the copper. I, I, I oh, still yeah. say that the the coal, the, maybe the not coal, the stone. I can see it with the, st the coal is because it's just all the same shade of grey. It all looks the same. Similar story with the stone. Whereas the copper, uranium and stone iron because you got more variety in color from the you know, like from the, the light blue to the dark and then the shadows from like the underground belts that sort of thing gives it a little bit more contrast to see difference yeah see i'm looking at the uranium and and there's a strip on the right hand belt that's going up there's, there's like i don't know 10 pieces that just have the same upward green thingy -ma -gee bomb that are all close yeah, together and oh, it, yeah. it ruins it for see me if you're there um eh, I, I bet if it was moving you wouldn't notice it uh, look, if I didn't stop and stare at it, I'd never notice it. Let's be honest. Um, but it's in a Friday Facts. It's it's in, you know, a GIF that loops. So I, I'm noticing it. Um, realistically, I, I'm happy to go back to shitty or you know, I I really don't care. Um, uh, I wouldn't. <laughs> oh no 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 no! no. <laughs> the old version twelve or was pretty. Ugly. Not 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 version fifteen. I'm talking the current version seventeen or current version seventeen or I'm more than happy with. Oh yeah. Um, uh, look, yeah. The randomization is it, it's a great little tidbit. It's a great little addition. But it's just, I don't know, more randomization thrown in. Because, um, you know, frankly, look, it, it doesn't matter if, if going back up to the, the list of, or the, the, the great picture of lots of little randomized ores, 
I don't care if on my belt is the six pixels by six pixels that can be represented by one little bit of ore. There's literally a dot in the corner because that's going to sometimes happen on a on a you know general conveyor belt in real life. Um, I've got coal yeah, mines near me. It also and... occurs to me, satisfac Ooh, satisfactory doesn't randomize their ore, don't don't they? No, they don't. They don't. Um, but again, you know, it's an early game compared to a six years later game, so. That's one of those things that maybe Satisfactory will get around to um, because it is 3D. They they have spent a lot more time on the graphics. Um, if you really play Satisfactory and, and you spend some time looking at some of the assets, there's lots of little details like, you know, there's a random coffee cup here or there's scratches on something or there's rust marks. You know, there is a lot of detail in that game because it is, it is that first person style. Um, it is a high graphics game, whereas Factorio... We're playing it for not so much for the graphics, but for the style of gameplay it is. It's it's a really, I don't know, technical game um, with a lot of precision, with a with a lot of calculations and ratios, and it, it's a different style of game. Um, so look, I appreciate the time they put into the graphics. Um, they, they've really made a oh, difference yeah. between like fourteen and now, um, and I'm sure there's going to be a big difference between now and and the final version one point oh. Um, I just like to see. I don't know, more randomization? Like, like, crank the randomization up to a level 12 and then put it on the belts and see what it looks like. Um, Maybe we will see more. We'll see how we go. Yeah. Because the current selection is pretty small and and they are sort of unique to each tile too. Yeah. yeah so there's more to come. Like, like I, I said, I, I, I just crank it up to 12. You know, I'm happy to have, you know, parts of the belt just have a tiny bit of ore on it and other parts of the belt that just have one giant rock on it and... and because, like I said, I, I live near coal mines. I, I We have coal belts that go out to the docking ships. And there are some times in the belt you can just see that there's there's literally like two or three big clumps of coal on it. Um, and there's other times when it's like a fine coal dust. You, you just... It's random. It's really, really random. Um, so, yeah. Um, but that's pretty much it for this Friday Facts. They, they broke inserters. Well, they fixed inserters. They broke inserters. And they fixed inserters. Um, all in two releases. And we've got new icons coming. Classic Factorio. Oh, Classic Factorio. They broke it, they realised they broke it, and they fixed it. All within, like, 24 hours. Or oh, 12 hours or whatever. Uh, I'd have to, I'd have to go look at the official Discord to, to get the release of the different versions. But definitely within 24 hours. It was it was broken. Oh, crap. We, we saw it on a live stream or a bug report. It's fixed. Um, yeah, it... it Woob moves at amazing speeds. I'll give them that much. Um, How long did it take for them to fix the other inserter one? Where the... someone complained about the logic on inserters, where it it keeps inserting um, when it goes over the threshold, and it broke every uh, combinator setup and every. So, so this is the one where. In a machine, you could have two items crafted and none being output. Plus, it was to you do with have... trains, inserting into trains. Oh, okay. I don't know. It was, um, to stop inserters hanging on to stuff. Uh, oh, oh been, over train tracks. Yes. Okay. What did they change? I can't remember what it was now. Okay. But they changed something with the way the logic works so that the inserter wouldn't grab if it couldn't, if it would overfill. Was, oh, the end result was that if the inserter wouldn't grab, if it would o would overfill, so it just wouldn't grab. So all of the anything that relied on circuit conditions would just stop working. Oh, excellent, excellent. It's it, it's the little bugs that bring out the the edge case scenarios. It's the edge case scenarios that bring out the little bugs, and I think that's what Factor is really, really boiling down to now. That that like as I said, the earlier stack inserter problem. Um, our seating had commented months ago. It's not a bug. It's intended. For, it's intended. What's his, his exact wording? It's like it's intended, not an intended feature. It's intended operation or something like that. Um, it's just how it is. It's never going to be it's, fixed. Um, it's one of those ways of saying too hard. Don't want to fix. Yeah, too hard, or I don't care. Um, yeah, uh, I, yeah, or, or I don't care is uh, uh, the wording for. It. Yeah, it, it's 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 one of those things. And look, our setting is great. He he is definitely the king of optimization. He is definitely the king. of of unique bugs and we've been through that on previous Friday Facts that he does an amazing job at what he does um, but
but there are there are these sort of edge cases that pop up from time to time that some dev might say no nope, not touching it and then another dev looks at something and this is what happened here it was an entirely unrelated bug that twinson was working on that in one inserter in one orientation was one tick slower so whilst he fixed that he dug into another bug that sort of had same sort of area of the code fixed that at the same time which then broke the um instead of putting on the wrong side of the belt because you know code speaking of um uh intended behavior i was kind of leaning on the idea that the way netrums was inserting onto a belt is kind of uh unpredictable behavior because you don't really know where it's going to put it on the belt Look, it's it's it, going to put it somewhere it, it's one of those things that and we covered this before before we hit the record button that I've got yes. a blue circuit build that I've just built for my base that's it's an 88 beacon making blue circuits which means you're going to have green chips and red chips fed on one side and you're going to have the output on the other side and there's not a lot of room between 88 beacons for belts and everything else and the pipes are fed in from the outside and I've got all three belts without using any belt braiding all snugged in very 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 tightly into the two squares on one side or the two tiles on one side and the two tiles on the other and consequently i have to use an inserter that puts onto an underground belt reading reaching over the hood to run under the assembler to then side load into another belt into another underground and i had to do this exact thing i had to put down the inserter and actually have it swing once to know what side of the belt it was going to put on yeah and there are some players out there that actually know that depending on the orientation of the inserter which side of the belt it's going to actually place on. I'm not one of those players. I know that I, they, they only output onto one side of the belt, and from that point, it's always on that one side of the belt. But I don't know which way it is, depending on the orientation of the inserter, because it is dependent on the orientation of the inserter. Because um, I think, like, the one that's on the front screen, I think if it's rotated 180 degrees, it, rotate, it, it puts it on the bottom side of the belt, but if it's facing north... It should be on the right-hand side of the belt, but it's on the left-hand side of the belt um, because Factorio. Um, it, it, it's one of those things that it, it, it's not predictable. Um, it, it, it's, it is predictable. It, it happens the same way for every single inserter, but it's not logical. I think that's probably a better way of putting it. I don't know. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's 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 something a speedrunner would do, or somebody who is 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 very very good at factory and really really knows the game back to front. Um, but I'm not one of those players. I I know that it happens a particular way, and if I feed stuff into the machine, the machine and the inserter will tell me. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Unless we've got anything else to add. Uh, no, that's it. That's it. Okay. So thank you for joining us for Friday Facts 297. And we'll hear from myself and Mojo next week. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Bye-bye.